Hi, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan, and today I am reviewing a film called American Sniper, which was directed by Clint Eastwood, who, if you don't know, he I think he's 83 or 84. I have to say, this film absolutely blew me away. I thought it was a masterpiece. I mean, I know that's a heavy word, but I really thought it was a masterpiece. First of all, I knew that Bradley Cooper was in the film, and I'm watching it, I'm watching it, you know, a few scenes go by, and then all of a sudden I realized, oh my God, I've been watching Bradley Cooper. The sign of a really great actor is an actor that can totally transform himself. One that you forget you are watching the actor. Bradley Cooper transformed himself on every le level. He gained 40 pounds for this film, and he did this killer Texas, Texas, Texas accent that he didn't even, oh my God, you didn't, he didn't even sound like himself. He was freaking incredible. And he's going to get an Oscar nod for this because, wow, was he good. This is his best performance of his career. Um, this is a really interesting story. I didn't know anything about it. I never read the book. It's a true story about this guy named... Uh, Chris Kyle, and Chris Kyle, I think, was one of the greatest um, snipers <laughs> in history. Um, it's during the Iraq War, and he's a sniper, and he, he keeps, you know, going back. I, th I think he had, like, four or five tours of duty. Um, the scenes in Iraq are so well shot. They are so intense. Um it's it's just amazing. I mean, I just can't believe that Clint directed this. I mean, there's a lot of 80-year-old men that can barely get up from the couch. No offense to 80-year-old men. But, I mean, and, and there's so much to this film. There's, um, there's another sniper that's basically on his level. So it's like these two snipers are dueling it out. Um, listen, I am an anti-war person. I, I think the war in Iraq was a total mistake. But I have to say... Just on a you know cinematic level, you got to go see this film. Um, it's based on a book, so I I'm not going to tell you you know what happens. I mean, if you read the book because it's sort of an autobiography, you will know uh, what happens. But all I can say is this is an exciting, intense, edge of your seat uh, film, and it also has some beautiful moments. His wife. Um, um, the, uh, Chris Kyle's wife is played by Sienna Miller, and it shows also what what this toll takes on her. He keeps going back to Iraq, and when he is home, he's not really there. He just wants to go back to Iraq. It's like what happens to these men when they, it's almost like they get addicted to it. They, that's the only place they fit in, and she does a wonderful job. So uh, American Sniper, another film that opens tomorrow, December 25th on Christmas Day. Um, I am going to give it, well, I'm giving it five, five bagels out of five, whoops, with lots of cream cheese the works, because I absolutely loved it. Listen, whether you see it on Christmas Day or the day after Christmas, you got to go see this film. It is absolutely wonderful. I'm sure more men will see it than women, but men, if you have a girlfriend or a wife, you know, drag them along, because they'll love it. I mean, it's just so... It's just so good. And that's it. So now I want to wish you all a very, very happy holiday. Um, uh, happy New Year. There's some films that I did not review that I have seen. Um, and I'll probably talk about them in my, you know, 10 best films of uh, 2000. What year is this? 2014. Um, yeah. And that's it, folks. And please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. And you can like us on our Two Jews on Film Facebook page and listen to us at jakecastnetwork.org. And I wish you, everyone, a really happy, happy, happy 2015. Thanks, everyone. Bye.